So it appears Ubisoft is at it again, teasing their upcoming projects. The Ubisoft France official Facebook page just posted this image with the slogan, an island that we've never really left. The verified account followed up the post with, want more of the madness? Follow us out on Instagram. And here we see a picture of Voss, the infamous villain from Far Cry 3, of course. And I know a lot of us loved Voss and we wanted more of him. It could be that we might be seeing more of him. And yes, it seems that Ubisoft might be teasing the next Far Cry game or a new project related to the Far Cry universe. So what do we know about the next Far Cry or at least the rumors? I'm going to be going over those right now. Well, I have covered this in the past and it seems that Ubisoft is interested in many different directions with the franchise. Though this time it could be that we might be seeing a direct sequel to Far Cry 3 or even a prequel with the return of Voss. Uh, to the Far Cry series. Then again, some media outlets are suggesting that this could be a remastered edition of Far Cry 3, but I do think we will be getting a new Far Cry 5 this year as uh, previously GameStop listed uh, Far Cry 5 as a November 26th, 2017 release day, and I think that was eventually pulled. So, in a way, I think Far Cry 5 has been confirmed in a soft manner, uh, so to speak. Uh, but previously, you know, Ubisoft did send out a survey asking you guys what you would like to see from the franchise. And the survey went over such things as traveling to Vietnam and experiencing survival in the dense jungle in an Apocalypse Now style presentation. Now that sounds pretty badass to me. But they didn't stop there. They also were asking you guys if you wanted to travel to get this, a present-day Jurassic Park-styled island featuring deadly dinosaurs. And that was actually a survey done during a time when dinosaurs were not in the spotlight at all. The only game that really highlighted dinosaurs was Ark Survival Evolved. And that had just come out during the survey. But now I think dinosaurs are more familiar what would you guys like to see, of course? Now, other suggestions were more over the top, including a dystopian, futuristic Far Cry setting. Uh, so what do you make of that one? Now, they did go on to question, would you like to see a Wild West setting? Which I think, you know, considering that Red Dead Redemption 2 is coming up here, and I think they have that pretty much covered. And it would be a mistake for Ubisoft to attempt to go head to head with such an established franchise, so I do not think they will pursue a Wild West setting. One setting that does sound like it would fit perfectly into the Far Cry universe is the other one, which was the cocaine-ridden environments of Peru, although I think at this point Ghost Recon Wildlands has a good handle on the drug trade stuff. So the question is, what works for Far Cry at this time? Well, you know, Far Cry has always been known as a kind of survival type game in more remote locations such as Africa and the tropics. So I think it would be best if they stayed with what they do best. And that's definitely more war-torn but very beautiful environment. So you have that uh, strange melding of, you know, chaos and beauty in there. That's what I think when I think of Far Cry and I hope they pursue that. And there's definitely still room for Far Cry in the gaming industry, one of my favorite settings, at least in terms of atmosphere, was actually Far Cry 2, Africa. And I think they nailed down the atmosphere. There was just something about it. So with whatever they do, i definitely like to see them restudy what they did there in terms of the you know atmosphere and the uh, setting. They just nailed down uh, the sense that you were actually in Africa. And I want to see them return to those beautiful weather effects and... Let me know, guys, what was your favorite Far Cry. But, guys, let's go over your top comments. We've got the Frog Stamper who says, The Far Cry series should stay primarily a single-player game. Too many games try to make games multiplayer, and the vast majority end up ruining the entire experience. I totally agree with you on that one. There's always room for more single-player games. And I think that's been proven time and time again. You know, even this year so far, we've had very successful single player games uh, with Horizon Zero Dawn for example that was a single player only game and it was exclusive to the PS4 and it sold very very well so yes I think that trend will continue and Diego G says less zombies more dinosaurs the zombie hype thing is getting pretty lame zombies are just 
too overrated, and this was in reference to uh, the fact that Ubisoft also asked you guys about zombies. Would you like to see zombies introduced into Far Cry? And no, we, I don't think we do want to see zombies introduced into the Far Cry universe. They are everywhere, like Diego was saying. It is such an oversaturated market at this point. And uh, Far Cry has its own unique style. When you think of Far Cry, you think of, you know, again, the war-torn beautiful island or African setting. Or just, you know, the beautiful nature. And I think they need to really continue that trend of chaos and beauty together with a really good villain, which was Voss. So maybe we will see Voss return. But guys, thanks so much for watching. Stay tuned here to World Games for more Far Cry 5 news because it looks like it's ramping up, guys. And of course, we should be seeing a trailer drop here for Far Cry 5, if it's a thing, June 13th through the 15th. So circle that on your calendars. But guys, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys later.